This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. There is a tremendous amount of ass kissing going on um, from Republicans and conservatives and chaos sowers surrounding Elon Musk and his purchase of Twitter. They just they want to they want to worship at the dum dum throne of Elon Musk. And listen, I got a lot. Every time I criticize Elon Musk, fanboys come out of the works to defend his honor. You say one negative thing or critical thing about Elon Musk on Twitter, and there's just a, a litany of idiots who worm their way into your replies. Oh, how dare you? The Elon's saving the world. Elon can't bother to pay his taxes. Elon is like at a 3.24%, something like that, rate of a real tax rate. He's He's benefiting greatly with SpaceX being just poured money into his coffers from you and me, the American taxpayers. And then he does this whole nonsense with Twitter, which, you know, it's his company now. He can do what he wants with it. It uh, doesn't mean there's not real world consequences. But the right, the right is doing everything they can to just implant their noses right up into his ass. They just love the smell and aroma of, of, of Elon Musk's butt musk. They just their brown nose all day long. And Charlie Kirk, the freakish, twitchy, Zeppelin-headed loser, is no different. Here he is giving a speech talking about, um, again, invoking military terms, a coward, a physical coward who never served his country in uniform or really any matter. Uh, here he is talking about how Elon Musk freed the PO, released the PO, the prisoners of war from the meme wars. Watch this. If you would have asked the question six months ago, I was extremely pessimistic about the status of free speech. But Elon has changed the game. I got to tell you, he has he has been an unexpected entrant, entry into this entire dynamic. Because I used to say, you know, we got to have Section 230 reform and do all these different things. I still believe that. But, man, him spending $44 billion to go purchase a company, to go restore Donald Trump's Twitter account, and let all these people back online and these prisoners of war from the meme wars, I mean, it is. <laughs> so they are. They're, P they're POWs. God bless them. That's a big threat to the regime. I will say this. I hope Elon is ready for what they're about to do to him. I, I don't think Elon is naive. I don't. But uh, this is a provocative thing to say. Who has more powerful enemies than Elon Musk right now? I can't think of anybody. Donald Trump, maybe. I got to tell you, I think Elon beats D Trump for right now, though. I got to tell you. Because Elon is an active participant in making it harder for them to take over the world. That's what he's doing. Man, he's, uh, I wouldn't want, I, I think he's always one move ahead of everybody else. And um, I sure hope he knows what he's doing because what he's doing is liberating speech. So anyway, to answer your question, you should be able to speak freely and there should be laws that reflect that. And it's time I think some of those laws get to the public square. Thankfully, we're in a much better spot because of Elon. Appreciate the question. Yeah. There should be laws to protect you speaking freely. There are laws. We, we have the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. You shit whistle. You clown. You abject embarrassment to intellectualism. <laughs> but Elon has restored Trump's Twitter account, and that is the pinnacle of free speech. Twitter initially, if you'll remember, uh, revoked his access to Twitter suspended his account indefinitely because of the grave threat that he posed as leader of the country in the executive branch by um, inciting violence against our country, mobilizing a violent racist mob, dispatching them to the United States Capitol and having them attack it while chanting, hang Mike Pence just feet away from the hangman's gallow that they constructed, the functional hangman's gallow that they had constructed. 
It's not about free speech, Charlie Kirk. But this, listen, this whole, the most just gross thing about this is, no, no, they are. They're, they're prisoners of war. They're POWs. God bless them. That's not tongue-in-cheek. That's not a joke. The same party that, that Donald Trump, their leader, their demigod, their, 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 their autocratic wonderkin, the same guy who said, well, I like my, my uh, soldiers that don't get captured or whatever nonsense he said about John McCain. It's the same downward spiral about disrespecting the sacrifices of actual military members, actual prisoners of war. That if you, you have your account suspended on Twitter because you, you post racist or, or violent memes, that you're a prisoner of war in the meme wars. Not a real thing, dum-dum. Not a real thing. And again, this reverence for Elon Musk, who is just a jackhole, who is at his own hand tanking an actual viable company of Tesla. It, the stock price is down like over 50% on the year. And it started at his own hand. But they love this guy. They love him. Because he has now endorsed Ron DeSantis, Ron DeSantis, the, the fascist goon, governor of Florida, who an impossible Trump opponent in the 2024 presidential campaign. They love him. Bizarre. Bizarre that we live in a world where Charlie Kirk has been given some modicum of power and influence over the minds of youth. This is it. This is Team Republican. Anyway, what do you think about this? I'd love to know. You can call. Leave me a brief voicemail. 714-576-4054. Absolutely. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to hear from you. If I am your flavor of political commentator, if I'm not, listen, I say this a lot. I try to say it as much as possible. If I'm not your guy, if there's someone else out there that does more for you, that brings you more value to your day, whether it be entertaining you or whether it be giving you information that you can use when talking to people. Uh, if I'm not that guy, if there's somebody else out there, support that person. That'd be Farron Cousins or any number of other uh, people who do what I do here. Go support them. It's important. But if I am that guy, click the join button below, see what's involved, become a channel member, or go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those are great ways to support what I do and I'm sure the other creators that you watch, if they're more important to you, they also have those same uh, mechanisms for support. Uh, follow me on social media. I'd love to mix it up with you there as my mouth begins to stop working. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.